Hi, today's lecture is corresponding to sections 2.2 in the Lock 5 textbook, and that's on quantitative variables. So this section and the following section, 2.3, will also be on quantitative variables, but section 2.2 will focus on how do you describe their shape, how do you describe their center, and section 2.3 will talk about how do you describe their variability. So let's get started. So the key concepts in today's lecture are listed here. So you'll notice really that, as I, as I just indicated, there's a focus on describing shape, and then there's a focus on sort of describing center. And we'll cover all of these topics down here in more detail. So after you finish this lecture, make sure you understand each of these individual points on here. And if you don't know what they mean, make sure you come and ask me. So how do you describe a single quantitative variable? In section 2.1, we learned about how you could describe a single categorical variable as well as two categorical variables together, right? We talked about how you could describe uh, the number of participants who had selected a certain category divided by the total number of participants, and that is what's known as a proportion. Um, we talked about how you can create conditional proportions, like when we talked about, say, the number of females who were in some particular category. Um, so really, there, there's that one statistic that really works quite well, and that's looking at proportions when you have a categorical variable, as well as creating tables of frequency. So we created just a standard frequency table, then we created a table containing relative proportion, I mean relative frequencies, also known as proportions, and then we created two A tables. So for today's lecture, we're going to focus on uh, describing shape and center. Um, but we're also interested in describing variability. How, do, how does the data vary? And this is for a single quantitative variable. And when you think about the shape, and you talk about the center, and you talk about this variability, together, these three pieces are what describe the distribution of the data. And so we're going to spend a lot of time throughout the semester focusing on distributions and describing distributions. Um, we're going to talk about things called sampling distributions. And we're going to be talking about normal probability, normal distributions. And we're going to be talking about chi-square distributions. So distributions have a shape, they have a center, and they have some variability. And that's what the vary piece is. So like I said, we're going to focus on shape and center today. And we'll begin by talking about shape. So the best way to think about shape is to visualize shape, right? So um, as you probably gathered, how we're going to visualize shape is through using uh, an actual plot. And so what do we want to look at when we look at a plot? We want to look at the symmetry. Does the data look like it's symmetric, right? Um, that is not symmetric. But does it look like it's symmetric? Does it look like it's maybe bell-shaped? So that first one there kind of looks like a bell shape. Um, and then, um, or is it just in general symmetric? So it could be just symmetric like this, where it kind of looks like a rectangle. It could also be symmetric like this, where it has like these two humps, OK? So we're interested in symmetry. The next thing we're interested in looking for is what is called skew. So skew basically refers to, is there a tail that's going in one direction or another? So we could have data that kind of look like this, where they kind of go off to the right. We could have data that kind of go off to the left. And those are going to be uh, things that we're going to describe using the word skew. And then the next uh, final piece is going to be outliers. And we'll talk about outliers.